Hello everyone. We got the opportunity to present under the guidance of Assistant Professor Dr. Vishal Deep Gohil sir. We are specially thankful to our respected dean Dr. Nandini Desai ma'am and our head of department Dr. Nileshwari Wala ma'am. Our topic of today is male contraception. Well, starting off with the basics, what is contraception? In simple word, it is a prevention of pregnancy with the help of various devices and methods. But why do we need contraception? First, it prevents unwanted pregnancy for not very reason. It's called family planning as well. Second, it prevent transmission of sexually transmitted diseases also male contraception is more important as they are twice more effective transmitter than females and we are also going to discuss their methods and their pros and cons so now as you are very clear with the need for male contraception let's move forward towards our next topic that is steps of male contraception it is of four types natural method barrier method, chemical method and surgical method. Let's talk in brief about the natural method. It is the oldest method. It is also known as coitus interruptus. In this method, the male withdraws or pull out his penis from the vagina just before the ejaculation in order to prevent the approximation of sperm and ova in the female reproductive tract. But it is a very high failure rate of 25 to 38 percentage because the sperm may be present in the pre-ejaculate also and this can lead to the fertilization of ova by the sperm which can further lead to pregnancy. And also hard thing is that it requires self-control from both the partners, especially the male. Second, barrier methods. Male condoms. It is the most widely used method around the world. It is latex sheath which is worn by male partner on his penis. It provides a barrier for sperms. It is easily available, safe and comparatively cheaper with benefits of protection against STDs as a bonus. It doesn't generally interfere with the libido, that is the sexual drive, unless it slips off or tears off. Sutra, Nirod, which is one of the India's pioneers brand, etc. are available. Here's the fun fact. In Japan and China, the condoms were used before the 15th century, first from tortoise shell and later thin leather. In China, they were made from paper and lamb intestine. In this segment, we are going to talk about the chemical methods of male contraception. The first method include the antispermatogenic drugs. They help in inhibition of spermatogenesis as their name suggests. These include male pills like gossipol, which are a phenolic derivative of cotton seed oil and are effective in azospermic inhibition, but have a failure rate of 2 to 3 percent. The other method is the hormonal pills. These are generally responsible for induction of azospermia in males. They include testosterone and its combination with denazole which makes it more effective. They also include cyprogenone acetate, a potent anti-androgenic agent which induces oligospermia which means low sperm count in ejaculation but it too has a failure rate of 3.4 to 7 percent. Finally, we are going to discuss terminal methods of contraception. It includes first vasectomy. It is a surgical method in which one centimeter of vast difference is removed after clamping then both the ends are ligated so that it prevents the mixing of sperm with secretion of other male accessory glands it is 100 percent effective but can have a failure rate of 0.3 to 9 percent because of surgical errors also it's irreversible and complications may occur but there is a better solution and it can be replaced by NSV, non scapal vas occlusion method, more convenient solution than vasectomy. Here, as shown, elastomer is injected into vas deferens and it hardens in situ within 20 minutes and occlude it. Obviously, it's 100% reversible if male ever decides to become father again. Yet, it can have a failure rate of 0 to 1 percent. Let's look forward to the recent advancement in the field of male contraceptive, that is RISA, which means reversible inhibition of sperm under guidance. It is developed at IIT Kharagpur by Dr. Sujoy Guha. 
The contraceptive product is a vasal gel injection. It is a combination of styrene malic anhydride and dimethyl sulfoxide which is a positively charged polymer gel. It is injected into a small section of vas deferens. The gel then gets attached to the walls forming a chemical mesh. Now the gel interacts with the negative charge of sperm and neutralizes it by rupturing its cell membrane. This process can be reversed with a new injection that breaks down the polymer. These are the source we have used. Here are the people behind the scenes, our team. A uh, special thanks to our guide Dr. Vishaldeep Gohil sir. This was all possible under his mentorship and guidance that this project is executed successfully. We would again like to thank our respected Dean Ma'am, Dr. Nandini Desai and the HOD of the Physiology Department, Dr. Nilesh Periwala Ma'am and the whole department for this wondrous opportunity and uh, we were glad to present this topic on this platform. Thank you.